if uh, your documents, because documents have to indicate who has drawn them and presented them to court. Mm. So usually at the bottom of a pleading, pleading is the document you take to court. Yes. And in, at the bottom, you usually say, this document is drawn and filed by Mary Wangari trading us this company. Yes. I'm really enjoying this conversation. Hey, this one is one of those CTAs that I don't want to end. And I'm glad because we're not near the end. <laughs> Where we've gotten to in this story, um, Mary's career is just starting. But before even we get into the story, she's got a book. All of these are just small nuggets that she's given. The book for, we're going to get to the point where she talks about the book, but you really have to get this book to get more in-depth stories about this. This is just a quick conversation. We're not able to, to break down every single thing that we're having as much as we're going deep, but the book has so much more. So go into the description, go into the pinned comment, you'll get all the information about the book. Mary, in fact, let me ask you, uh, if somebody's watching this in Germany, can they get your book? Yes, yes. Uh, the book is in Amazon. What's the name of the, of the book? The Village Girl. Uh, do we know why? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can get it on Kindle version, uh -huh. hard copy and soft copy. Nice. Depending on your preference. Okay. Yes. So if, if I am in Nairobi, Kenya, yes. and I want the book in a physical copy, yes. can, it be can I get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Nuria book bookstore they have, it's online. Mm -hmm. You order and they deliver to your doorstep in the whole of Africa. Africa? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any country, they will deliver. What? Yeah, so you just go online, Nuria, on a store, and they will deliver to you. So Nuria is the Amazon version of... Is the Amazon version of Kenya. Yes. Of all Africa. Okay. Yes. Are you in any bookshops? Yes. Textbook center has it. Okay. Yes. Yeah, but these days, we're just going to use Nuria, they'll deliver directly <laughs> to our doorstep. I think we are becoming more and more lazy. Yes. <laughs> and I'm also, <laughs> I will figure out also what the bank needs. We, we so want, <laughs> we want uh, things to be delivered to our doorstep, yeah. but it's convenient. It is convenient. It's convenient, which is good. And one of the things yeah. that I also know Equity did was bring convenience. Yes. And that's hence... Yeah, that, in uh, banking and financial services. Yeah. Yeah, these days, we say banking is not somewhere you go but something you do Ooh. on your phone or your device. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Okay, but equity is later. <laughs> we are still in, we are still where we are, where we've gotten to. Equity is but a dream. It's not even a dream. <laughs> We're at your first job. Yes. So what's the first job that you get? So this um, senior lawyer mm -hmm. told my pupil master, yes. Mr. Moragori, that uh, he was looking for an assistant an associate, as young lawyers are called. Yes. So that's what you, you move from a pupil to yes, an associate? Yes, to an associate. Okay. So that is actually the first level you get okay. in, a, in a law firm uh, because that is also where you do, you build your experience before you become a partner or whatever else, depending on the structure. Okay. So I went and so, so Mr. Moragori proposed me as my pupil master and I met uh, Mr. Kigano. Mr. Kigano was the former MP for Kangema oh. uh, recently. I think the last uh, the last uh, term, yes. not this current one. Uh, and we talked and he was happy. So I, I started working immediately with mm -hmm. him just after I finished my pupillage. So I had that job for five years. Uh, I worked with him until 20... Uh, sorry 1996 okay when i decided to open my own farm okay i want yeah. to hear about your first job but i have this mm. question that you've just because of something you've said yes. why is it that so many lawyers go into politics you never hear uh, of that many engineers going into politics or uh, musicians yeah. going into politics uh, well i i think it's a question of um, the exposure mm -hmm. uh because i think especially parliament in the old form, the National Assembly, mm -hmm. it's really associated with, lawmakers are associated with the law. Yes. You see? Yeah. So it is presumed that if you understand the law very well and you have a legal background, you will be able to make good laws for the country because mm -hmm. that's the basic 
uh, role of parliament mm -hmm. or the National Assembly, as mm -hmm. we call it now. But I think lawyers are also in a privileged position because they are outgoing by nature. Remember, to be a good lawyer, you have to stand there, argue your case before the magistrate, before the judge, before the jury, whatever. And that is the same skill that you use to convince your electorate <laughs> <laughs> when you are seeking votes. Yes. So I may also say that they are probably at an advantage when it comes to going to the ground yeah. to look for votes. Yeah, now, that's that's yeah. my own view. And they've also perfected the art of lying. You and Yako. No, 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 no. No, no, let's say let's I call it <laughs> let's call it the art of persuasion. <laughs> Is that of persuasion? Let's leave it at that. You're even you're, you're good at it. Yeah, yes. Okay. So at this first job that 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 you that you go to, mm. give me an idea of your day to day. What's it like? Are you just in Nairobi? Are you traveling out of Nairobi to do other court cases? Are you what kind of clients are you getting? I want to understand the experience that you were getting that made you then get to the point where you decided, okay, now I'm ready to do my own law firm. Yeah, I I I used to do the whole range. Uh, because it was not a very specialized uh, uh, law firm. So they would do a bit of everything. Uh -huh. So I got exposure to succession matters, criminal matters, uh, litigation, uh, land cases, Trans conveyancing. Okay, uh, let me, let me yeah. show you. Sometimes the audience, eh? Yes. When you when you get that jargon, eh? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> we so, lose people. Yeah, uh, you lose. So now let's let's break it down. So succession cases. Mm -hmm. What are we talking about? Give me an example. Now succession cases refer to uh like I just give an example. If somebody has died, passed on. Yes. Has passed on. The court needs to decide who are the heirs to the estate. Estate mm. is anything that someone left behind yes. at the time of death or anything that they owned. Mm. And uh, usually there are two ways of looking at succession. The first one is if I leave a will, mm. um, then it becomes easier because all the court needs to do is to actualize that will mm. and allocate the assets mm. as the deceased has said in the will or the, because they have made their wishes known yeah but of course you have to satisfy the court that the will was made as per the law as per the law as per the law <sighs> and usually the requirement is a will needs to be in writing and witnessed by two independent witnesses mm -hmm. in the lifetime of the person uh then there are cases where you don't leave a will yes in that case, then the case will be filed and someone will say, I was the spouse or I was the child or I was the brother or the parent. So I am entitled. Can you give me the letters of administration? Mm. So that is what we call. Um, so there's the, the there's, it, it is that whole area is called probate and administration. Mm, mm, mm. So the court will eventually decide. Uh, who is entitled yes. by virtue of their relationship mm. with the deceased person. Okay. So that's the whole succession uh, area. So these are now people who would come to get your services to help them in such matters. Yes, yeah, exactly. I'm trying to make the audience yeah, yeah. understand these are day-to-day yes. things that everyone they, that they go through. Everyone goes through. Yes. So you're dealing with these kind of matters. What yes. are the kind of matters? Are you, when you talk about criminal, what? Uh, criminal matters are where... Um, an offense has been committed or someone has done something against the law and here you could be talking about killing someone mm. or uh, stealing mm. robbery or just trespassing you know there, there are many there are some which are called misdemeanors mm -hmm. small offenses yes, yes. and there are also those which are capital like yes. uh, like murder, murder. is very serious robbery with violence is very serious so they are categorized according to the gravity and the mm -hmm. impact that they have. So there are offenses against the community okay. or law and order. Mm -hmm. So those are criminal cases. Okay. And those, were usual, those are usually prosecuted or taken to court by the government through what we call the prosecutors. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and 
if if you know the attorney general, yes, the attorney general is the head of that whole division, mm. the one that does the prosecutions at various levels in different courts. So the offenses will be taken to different courts depending on the gravity. So it's the government like, taking you to court. Yes, and mm. pre providing the evidence. Okay. So that is why if there is a crime, the first place you go is a police station. You have to report and record a statement. So it is entered in the occurrence book, mm -hmm. and then you write a statement and say, uh, Richard came to my house, uh, or so, uh, somebody came to my house and took the, such my, such my such TV such. and whatever. So that's the statement. You may know the offender or you may not know the offender. And on the basis of that, there's an investigation. More witnesses are called. And then when they are ready and they say, we have enough evidence to convict Richard, they now take you to court. And mm. you take a plea uh, on a charge and say, on this date, you went to Mary's house and you took a TV or whatever, whatever. What do you have to say? Yes mm. or no? And you say, no, I did not do it. I have a lawyer. So we are entering a plea of not guilty. And then the witnesses will be called most likely on another date mm. to come and testify what they know about the case. That's like a traffic offense. When, when, when traffic that, is the same. Okay. It's only now this one is just a traffic offense. Some of them are minor offenses. Yes. Maybe you are caught without a driving license. Mm -hmm. Or um, it was a minor accident. Oh. But some are very uh, serious, yes. like where someone gets killed, mm. you've hit a pedestrian mm. and they have died or this a collision and passengers have died. So they also categorize at different levels okay. based on the gravity of or mm. the, the severity of the consequences. But traffic offense, what I'm hearing from you, it's its own category. It's, in a, it's a different category okay. because also the laws, you know, you cannot be taken to court on a criminal or a traffic offense if that offense is not specified by law, mm -hmm. what it involves first, mm. and the sentence or the penalty. Ooh. that is supposed to be prescribed. You cannot be charged. So it has to be for theft. You can either get a jail term of so much mm -hmm. or a fine or both. Mm. Or the court can even decide, okay, this guy, they, they, they look very remorseful. So mm. we are going to give you, they can even give what they call an unconditional discharge if they feel that the circumstances uh, were probably beyond your control. And so you don't need to be severely punished mm. sometimes it also depends on how you present your case that's it. why people come to lawyers litigation how do you say litigation yeah litigation is um, we call them civil cases mm -hmm. now civil cases are either offenses against property or a dispute about a contract uh -huh. you know you, you can say I lent you 100,000, but I've asked you so many times now, it's a year down the line and you haven't paid me. Mm. I'm going to take you to court to recover my <laughs> money. <laughs> no, so that, that's a civil case. Yes. So I take you to court to recover my money yeah. based on a contract we had. Okay. So, and the court will decide, will hear you. Some of them actually, when I take you to court, um, you say, actually, I owe you the money, you settle. but give me time to pay. Yes. Or I'll pay you 10K per month. Mm. So that's a settlement, which is recorded as a consent in court. Mm. And, and that's how the case is concluded. So some of them get decided before they actually go to hearing. In some cases, you can apply for what we call summary judgment and say, uh, this defense is neither here nor there. Mm. It has no basis. Strike it out. And the court can strike it out mm. if you haven't demonstrated that you have good grounds for objecting to the claim. And the court looks at the evidence and be like, okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So so, so they are de determined in different ways depending also on the gravity of the of the matter. So can a, can a, can a um, judge throw out a case on mm. the basis that the lawyer doesn't is not is invalid in the LSK website? Yes, if uh, your documents, because documents have to indicate who has drawn them and presented them to court. Mm. So usually at the bottom of a pleading, pleading is the document you take to court. Yes. And in, at the bottom, you usually say, this document is drawn and filed by Mary Wangari trading us this company. Yes. 
So if you check for Mary Wangari on the LSK website, and then you find that I am an inactive member, yes. so it means I haven't taken out a license, mm -hmm. the other lawyer can actually go to court and say, these documents have been filed by an unqualified person. Strike it out. And the court will strike it out. Because the person who presented the document has no capacity mm. to present the documents to court and has no audience with the because judge. With the judge. Yes. Because what gives you the audience with the judge is your status as a practicing advocate. Yep. If you lose that, then you have no mandate to present a document on behalf of somebody else. And he has no mandate to take it. Yeah. So the pleadings will be struck out, unfortunately, for the client. Wow, Mary, you, are, you don't even mm. know how you're saving people. Mm. That I like that you're, you're speaking about things that are not talked about so yes. that in a layman mm. version so that people can then take the information and, and use it. And use well. it positively, yeah. I, I, when, when this one, the, then we go back into your story, but just as an inquiry, when Om, Om Tata takes the government to, to court, what's that? Where does that fall under? The, 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 there are several ways of going to court. You can go and present your own interest. But you can also say, me as a citizen, I'm aggrieved because of this and this and this. So I'm presenting, it is actually called public interest litigation. Mm. And uh, it can be presented by a citizen or even the, um, the law society, which is the body of advocates, yes. or any other human rights organization or any other lobby group which is interested in a certain constituency. And they will say, our members are, you know, like the consumer protection. Yes. Uh, you can say, our members are aggrieved by this. We are bringing it to court. And then anyone who is interested in that particular issue can actually join as an interested party. Mm. Because at the end of the day, the court is there to, uh, like, arbitrate on any issue that affects the human rights and interests mm. of the citizens. That mm. is what uh, the court is there to do. So the court cannot block out anyone who has a genuine uh, complaint. The only thing is that every case needs to be brought under the relevant law and under the relevant procedure. And that is why sometimes you will then need someone who, who understands, understands the law. I get it that confers that right and also the process through which you will take that matter to court. Mm. You remember there's a case that was thrown out on, um, I think it was the National Social Security Fund mm. last year or last year but one because it had been brought under the wrong process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although you're, the court is saying, uh, we understand your, your grievance but you have brought it under the long law. Ah, yeah, yeah. So go back and do your homework. And that is how many cases get lost because they are brought either under the wrong process or under the long law. That is why it is important to get proper legal advice before it. you go to court so that you know if it's um, a commercial matter, this is the right court to take it to. If it's a constitutional matter that deals with issues uh, under the constitution, take it to the constitutional court. If it's a land or succession matter, take it to the environmental and land cases mm -hmm. tribunal. If it's a child protection matter, take it to the children's court. If it's a marriage matter, take it to the marriage court. Yes. Uh, or the family court. It's called the family court. And so, so you have to take the matters to the right forum at the, at the right level. Because courts also have different tiers of jurisdiction. Yes. There are those now, we have the small claims court, we have the other magistrates court dealing with civil cases, you have those dealing with criminal cases, you have those dealing with traffic cases, we have the constitutional courts, we have the land courts. We ha so they are different mm. and you have to take it to the right form. Some matters you don't have to go to the tribunal. Mm. There are some specific tribunals set for different uh, interests because they are specialized. We have the tax tribunal. We have, um, uh, uh, there are many tribunals based on different uh, items. So you have to know where to take the proper forum 
to take your case. And not only that, mm. I now understand the importance mm. of not just going from being admitted in the bar and setting up your own law firm. Yes. The importance of getting the experience mm -hmm. working under a law firm. It yes. It, you first and foremost you have a mentor in court, mm -hmm, in court mm -hmm. to give you advice because they've had experience in the different cases. Yes, exactly. And it also gives you experience yourself to understand all of these different things mm -hmm. practically. Exactly. So, so for you, mm. from now your five years, you've even really broken it well. This mm. is what's happening. You're getting yes. all these different cases. Yeah, it's 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 like a forest and you need to, to make sure you are targeting the right tree, tree yes. because there are many. Mm. And, and that also applies to things like... Um, the the land the land registration process yes this is where now you take if you're buying land or buying a house or selling or taking a loan from a bank yep. you know all those are land related uh, cases so we have different regimes of registration mm -hmm. so you have to make sure that the documents that the lawyer prepares are prepared in accordance with the right because if the title is a leasehold, then okay. you have to do it under the leasehold, leasehold. provisions. Yes. If it's a free, if it's agricultural land, Freeholds. then there's a different template and a different registry. So if you present in the wrong registry, too bad for you. You can lose. So it is very important to understand the intricacies and also ad, ad, know who are the lawyers who are good in this particular area. Yes. They are lawyers who are very distinguished on tax matters. Mm -hmm. So if you have a tax case, go to a law firm that has distinguished itself in tax matters because they are likely to know those nitty gritties of procedure mm. and the right approach to your case because everyone has a case, but how you present it really matters mm. and, and determines your success. So those are the details that it's a bit of homework for, for people to know. Okay. Yeah. So you're working in Nairobi. Mm. I mean, I'm understanding the work environment. Where are you living? Because <laughs> 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 I definitely know it's not where we are. <laughs> Richard. <laughs> when I got a job with uh, Kegano, uh. I got um, a bed sitter 